Hey everyone, this is Buzzrod. Welcome back to CJOP, and we're going to be looking at a map called Harm to Undead. So this is our base here. We start off sort of in the uh, left middle, and then there's like some crazy gold mines that we see here. Like this one here is there's three of them that we could take over. Um, it's got by like around 30 skeletons, so it's quite a battle here. I'm not sure if it's really worth it for these gold mines, but they do have a fair bit of income if you capture it. Um, there's much easier ones to capture, like the one over here. Um, and there's this sort of like secondary base that we have for the enemy. There's around three uh, towers, one gold mine, and yeah, a whole bunch of skeletons guarding that as well. But yeah, you gotta check out this uh, main base for the enemy here. There's a huge <laughs> glowing purple stone, and this is the necromancer we gotta kill. So it's guarded by a whole bunch of skeletons and towers. And this is a uh, kind of funky animation with the fire going towards this tower, it seems. And uh, a whole bunch of dead skeletons in the back, so this mage has been doing some crazy rituals. But yeah, that's what this map is about. And they do attack our base as well, so a bunch of skeletons do come um, and periodically attack. So you can see them right now coming to attack our base. Starting off, we do have like a cinematic here, which is nice. It's just awful. I scattered the territory. Wheat fields are burned. Nearby lands are engulfed in corruption and skeletons. And some kind of magical ritual is being performed there around a strange stone covered in purple glow. And it's run by a people. Warlock? It would be good, but he had many followers. Necromancers. Plus, he would have a huge army of creatures worse than ordinary skeletons. So here's the plan. We prepare battle. People for battle. We distribute equipment. Some bandits without a coin don't want to fight, which was unexpected, so we'll have to pay them. Also, everything needs to be done quickly because the horde is coming, and we we'll also need to have cover from the oncoming waves. Also, check the maps. There should be gold mines in the district, and we will take gold from them. Here's their location. So we can see there's the main boss here with his uh, strange stone and uh, fire happening everywhere. Uh, risky considering we don't even know what it is. Maybe even explosives won't take him. It's better to destroy the necromancer first to prevent the ritual. So I have to kill the necromancer. After all, as I understand, he is connected with the call of skeletons that besiege the city. Understandably. Then let's talk delay. And so we have like this countdown timer. I think that's the time limit we have to complete the map. And here are the kind of quests. So don't lose the commander, don't lose the settlement, kill the Lord Necromancer, succeed before arrival. So that's, I guess, the timer here. Um, so we don't really have like a label, so I'm assuming this guy with the um, sign on top of him is, a, is the commander, so we're not meant to get him killed. He does have like 1,250 health, so he's probably the commander because he has more health. Uh, but yeah, so you start off and um, you can only build houses and farms. So uh, for that's for the economic buildings and for the military buildings we have the tower, the uh, barracks and archery range. And we can see on the map here the locations of different uh, gold mines. And we have this enemy base here with a stone. Alright, so you're basically constantly being attacked by these skeletons here, and they come from a few different directions. So some of them come from around here, and some uh, come from the base itself. So the enemy has a lot of resources that are coming from these gold mines that they control. And yeah, you basically have to build up and destroy this army here. So I'm just going to fast forward some of this. But yeah, there's just me building up my army right now, and all these skeletons attacking. Um, they're quite weak, so it doesn't really matter too much. So this is when I come and attack this gold mine here. Um, once I clear this, I'll be able to take control of this resource point. More units coming in to attack, so some skeletons, but um, these towers do quite uh, a lot of damage to them. So now I just come in to poke, but uh, it seems like there's way more stuff here for me to handle with a few of these archers and 
swordsman. Alright, now that we have a big enough army, we're just going to come in and start attacking. This should be enough to take down that tower and a bunch of those skeletons that are just standing around. We have a bunch of archers here, uh, about 20, and yeah, a bunch of, uh, well, only six soldiers, so we'll see how they fare. Alright, just taking on these uh, random guys standing out at the burning farm, and just going to take down these towers because they're going to be pretty annoying. Some of these archers here just standing there taking out everything that comes to them. Now there are a few of these skeleton archers standing at the back um, but I think I just walk around it. I don't think there's any reason to kill them so I'm just going to go straight towards the base here so there's going to be a few more towers in the way. Alright so the next tower goes down and we have a sizable army now, we're just going to go through and try and beat everything here. Now the tower goes down, so there's two towers left on this side and a few surrounding this um, burning pit here. So I don't think I actually had enough units to take on everything I think. Uh, but there's still quite a lot of archers. So here I actually didn't realize uh, the mage healer was standing near the back and I was just like trying to pick off all of these uh, the troops here. So there's 27 archers left, no infantry and uh, I think this is when I started building some more units in the base that was uh, just raised now. So I'm just falling back here with these archers to try and save my barracks but uh, turns out it did get destroyed so didn't make it back in time but I think this archery range should be able to be saved and it does so I'll need to rebuild that barracks again if I want some more infantry so come back in to the base and start attacking I think I'm just aiming for the tower so here we go for the last tower on this side of the circle. Um, so the mage here is right there. And he comes forward actually to attack. So this is when I think he's about to die very soon. He's got 2000 health, which is a fair bit. And I'm falling back here a bit. But I still got like 17 archers. And the mage healer is slowly dying. And he dies. Ah, damn non-entities, all of you will die. Go to hell, monster. And that concludes the campaign. And I think there's meant to be some sort of animation? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> everything just blows up. Nice. Alright, so that's the end of the game. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Whoa, something really weird happening there, a bunch of units. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.